In this video, I will be going over Group 1's group project and presentation, uh, the code demo for the Sonnet Multiplexer GUI assignment. So first, the data stream comes into the line as represented by these two blocks right here. Um, this first data stream, data stream 1, uh, is less than 51.84 megabits per second. So when it, the data is lower than 51.84 megabits, it is first converted into a VT, or virtual tributary, where it gets extra padding and also uh, conjoined with other smaller data streams. And from there, once it meets those uh, requirements for 51.84 megabits per second or greater, it becomes an STS-1 signal. Um, and from there, the data is an acceptable format to enter the multiplexer. And so because Sonnet uses a TDM or time division multiplexer algorithm, uh, it chops each data stream up and sends them out in into the receiver in short bursts in a synchronized fashion. And from there, when the data is multiplexed, it uh, goes to the electrical optical interface where it is converted into electrical or optical signals and sent to the receiving users. Uh, this data stream 2 is greater than 51.84 megabits per second, so it does not become a virtual tributary. It goes straight into STS-1 and then into the multiplexer and on, as previously shown. <clears throat> now here's the code for the UI. Um, it was done in Java using a Net, NetBeans JFrame uh, utility. So a lot of this code was auto-generated, but mm, much of it was, especially these, uh, was coded by myself. And yeah, this is the video demonstration for Group 1's project assignment.